Yeah, I guess you guys aren't ready for that yet. But your kids are going to love it. Well, you don't need a DeLorean to do it. Maybe you can go back in time just with the web. I'm looking at a tool called Memento. It's using some new web standards intended to add elements of traveling through time when looking at different websites. So let's go to now. Look at a page. I used to work on the Maricopa Center for Learning Instruction. This is how it looks right now. But we'll dial it back and we'll see what happens if we say go back few years to maybe around oh, uh, 2011 and you know it was after I had left there they were trying out some new designs and we can see how that that website looked and then just for some comparison Thai magazine uh, today uh, some baseball stuff but if we go back to the same date using the memento tool uh, we can go back and um, perhaps see what uh, Time magazine looked like in April of 2011, the same date. So obviously a different look to the site. This is coming from the Internet Archive. It's missing a few icons, but again, we're just using the little Memento extension, picking the date that we want to travel to. So I'm going to set it up for uh, another jump uh, that we can go back to that Maricopa page and maybe go uh, a bit farther back, 2006. Uh, that was uh, when I left uh, MCLI. So this is, would have been the um, website about the time that uh, I had uh, left my job there after a long stint, March 2006. And uh, let's see what happens when we go back in time. Again, I'm going to use the uh, selector there that comes with the extension that you get in Chrome. Uh, getting a little fangled with how to do it. And uh, with Time Magazine, uh, we can go back to that same period of 2006 and uh, that's what we get and then we'll try I think I messed up there uh, on the Maricopa site uh, on that same date uh, going back again you can see that I'm using the um, internal uh, menu there to pick a date go back to 2004 it was about the way the website looked uh, when I was working there at the end not the greatest thing it was 2004 and then, yeah, we can go back through time again on Time Magazine. Uh, I'm going to select that date again from that little internal menu. And we're going to bop back. It might take a little bit of time to load. Oh, it's even older. What's going on? Lord of the Swings. Still baseball going on. Ah, oh, it's Yankees. So I don't like to see the Yankees. Uh, so we're going to dial it even back farther to maybe uh, 2002. Uh, I think we're... I think that was the intended date. I didn't really get my controls that well done here, but 2002 of um, Maricopa site. Some, some little bit of changes was fooling around with the, the header. Uh, later I had little dynamic images popping up there. This is a slightly simpler version of uh, that same page. And if we're gonna uh, do again, uh, just for comparison, see what was going on Time Magazine maybe in uh, January of 2002, uh, see what kind of news might be going on uh, back then. So I've dialed in the date with the extension and then I select the date uh, through the menu that I want to go to and uh, shaboom, we're talking about Enron. And now, you know, the website looking uh, definitely different in 2002 for time. Um, for the uh, Maricopa site, I'm uh, going to go back to, say, uh, uh, 2000. Uh, I think we're going to be in uh, maybe uh, August of 2000. I don't even remember what I was doing then. Was I blogging? That's another time travel to go through. And I could do that very easily uh, using this extension. So you just um, use the uh, tool and uh, much uh, kind of an in-between uh, site and trying to change the MCI look. Pretty text-heavy, not the greatest logo. Uh, for Time Magazine, going back to that same date in uh, August of uh, 2002. It's like setting the time and then we activate uh, through the uh, contextual menu. And we'll go back a little bit earlier than Enron. And what are we going to hit for news in uh, August of 2000? Waiting for 
the transformation to happen and activate. Man behind the myths, of course, Al Gore, long after he invented uh, the interwebs. And so we'll take it back. Uh, now in 1999, uh, before Y2K, you know, there was a world before then. And we'll dial in maybe uh, February 1999. Uh, do you know what you were doing then? Well, if you had a web page, maybe you could travel back through and see it. Uh, but here we go back to even a uh, pretty crude version. Had that logo. That was actually our official logo. It was on the business card that I incorporated into the website. Uh, some artist did that. I don't know. So we take Time Magazine. See if they go back that far, you know. I'm pretty sure my sites go back farther than Time Magazine. Maybe. I don't know. But we're going to set it back uh, to go... Uh, into uh, that uh, time period of we're looking for February of uh, there we go February around February 15 1999 Vernon Jordan getting in trouble Vernon Jordan tut 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 so now on the MCLI site uh, we can go back quite a ways uh, I know this history because I was building this stuff and we're going to take this back to 1997. This is a long time ago, boys and girls, 17 years. You can still take a trip in the web. Page is a lot narrower. Uh, I don't know, probably some funky table going on. It's mostly text links. That's what we did in those old days. And uh, can't go back any further in Time Magazine, but I got one more notch in uh, my Internet Archive. Back to the first year you can do it in an archive. November 1996, this would have only been about um, maybe three or four years in, into the web, so it doesn't get the very first version of the MSI webpage, um, but we can look at this site. Now we've gone back from 2014 all the way back to 1996. I got some sarcastic quotes about statistics on the bottom here. Major sections of web pages we had. You can certainly go back and Look at this stuff yourself, but maybe if I just flip through it. Uh, dialogue days, 1995, 1996. These were uh, faculty development events that we ran out of our center. I just had a listing. Didn't even have uh, the information for those uh, on uh, the website. Ocotillo was this big uh, initiative that we ran to look at uh, new technologies. And an uh, interesting model there. Was doing some stuff. Um, had this uh, collection of pages about the World Wide Web using frames of all things, you know, that old structure of creating an index on one side and content on the right. That was how I did it back then. Had some resources uh, going beyond uh, my HTML tutorial. Um, I called them blueprints. I think they're like little templates that I set up that you could download into your own web page. So web's eye view, baggy URLs, you know, different ways I was working to Shoot, I was curating. I was curating links. <laughs> There's the Internet Archive in there. That's pretty interesting. Looking through the Internet Archive to get to the Internet Archive. A lot of the stuff that you get through Memento, of course, is through the Internet Archive because it's the biggest, but it's not the only resource. It does uh, hit a couple other um, web archive uh, spaces when it needs to. The Swiss, Swiss Web Knife was a sort of a general collection of resources. And... Uh, that's maybe it for my nostalgia trip. Try it yourself with uh, the Memento tool. It's kind of interesting. See ya.